Blockchain. I've heard that word thrown on so much within recent years. I think it's time for me to go on a journey and figure out how to make my very first blockchain app. I will be your guinea pig and show you just what that journey looks like. My name is Dorian Crutcher, and this is episode one of Blockheads. To get us started, I want to create an idea that I think is very, um, is very accessible. So what I have here is just a simple voting app. These two candidates are up for some sort of vote, some sort of position. Um, so, you know, the layout's very simple. You have the picture of the candidate. Um, each candidate has like a voting button and then maybe like a place where you can have like, you know, like some like s short description of like, of like what they, what they stand for, like waffles or something. Um, cause Leslie loves waffles. I live in the dream? I don't know. Did I also just walk past a food truck and buy myself a waffle sundae? Yes. Where it can say like this topic's like, um, which one is your favorite? Is it this one? So yeah, just go on Google Slides and you know you can just make your own um, quick layout. So after they hit the voting button, what I imagine is that they get spit out right to this page. But essentially this like shows like the current like polling numbers. So now we have our UI design laid out. I think I want to move on to near.org. So near.org. I'm going to use this as my primary compass that will guide me through this journey of blockchain. Let's get started and like, let's jump into setting up the wallet. Um, the account's here, so let's create a new account. I'll just do mine as like, just call this, uh, let's do this as blockhead. Blockheads. Blockheads.testnet. <laughs> what is it saying? Okay, wait, okay. So if, okay, so first challenge is that each shard has its own validators. Each shard is now 10 times less secure than the entire chain. Okay, so I guess the more shards you have, then like the less secure it is, or is, is it less secure because of the validators, or is it less secure because like you have more shards? <laughs> You know those like moments, like um, I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but when I was in college, I like uh, I just had this like feeling of anytime I get like a new like topic or like a new um, subject matter, I'm like I swear I swear I'm smart I swear I know I can do this, but then I read this stuff I'm like, what is a quaternion? What is like what are these like really big weird like vector analyses words I'm saying? And then like I'm like uh God and then, like you know like you get through his like first read through, you get the first like second one and then you just like just like oh, clicks and like the, the world gets a little brighter and then you realize oh my god I can do this I am a tiny bit better at the world at least I like to believe so uh, hopefully that's where I'm going with this uh, whole process with um, making this app but this is yeah it's a lot of fun <laughs> I want this to be kind of like whatever this is, but a little bit lighter, like an off-white. There we go. Something like that. Ooh, it is screaming at me. I misspelled something. What did I misspell? No, I misspelled. Get that JS. Get total. I'm. I'm a dingus. Sorry, guys. If you saw that, if you saw that, then 
mention in the comments. So let me see how many guys caught that. <laughs> so we can log out, log in, sending, we're logged in. We can vote. We don't see the numbers appear, so that's good. Ben always votes for Leslie. Let's see what the console says. Leslie, vote count. Ron, vote count. Um, they work. Leslie, Ben, three. Okay, there we go. It says, I've already voted. Um, so I first hit the button earlier. Uh, it looks like it checked it out. Last number we saw here was six, so when I refresh the page, it should be seven. Seven and six. Looks like it works. Ben successfully voted for Leslie. It registers that Ben voted, so it says thank you for voting. And yeah, no, now we have like our two candidates, we have our two polling numbers, and this is an awesome functioning blockchain application. Uh, great, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So when it comes to actually building the application, I mean, it took longer than I'd like to admit, but like it involved a lot of me like going back and forth between like their examples and then the documentation online, back to my application, trying out new little things, still realize that there's still gaps in my knowledge, like how contract function calls are even made. And then that magic moment kind of hits. Um, I created my first hello world application contract call, like on my own. So now I have like these two functional like voting buttons like at play. Um, my, I can log into different accounts like rather easily and it's all starting to make sense. So even though like mostly app is static, you know what I mean? But like the functionality of the voting buttons work and that's like the biggest thing for my application. I'm really proud of that. We made it. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on this journey. All the resources for this video can be found in the description. And if there's anything I can do to prove this video to bring you guys better content in the future, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe and stick around for more cool blockchain videos. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.